A rocket is fired from ground level at a speed of 64 meters per second at an angle theta to the horizontal. The parametric equations of the path of the ball are given by x is 64t cos theta and y is 64t sin theta minus 64t squared. By eliminating t, show that the Cartesian equation of the path of the rocket can be written in a quadratic in tan theta. Given that theta is equal to 45 degrees, how far does the rocket travel before hitting the ground again? And what is the maximum height obtained by the rocket? Right, before we actually do the question, let's just have a look graphically at the situation. So this GeoGebra applet that I've made, uh, I will attach to the, uh, to the video. So what we've got here is a rocket being fired at 45 degrees. Uh, degrees. What we should bear in mind is that we could the rocket can be fired at different things, but then obviously at forty five degrees, if you know anything about projectile motion, at forty five degrees we get the maximum uh, range of the rocket, which we're going to calculate. But we can see from the graph that it's uh, thirty two, and then if it is fired at forty five, then the maximum height will be this particular point here. The uh, parameter t, if we move it across, we can see this is the parameter p. This point will give me the maximum height, and this is where we start. But first of all, we're going to use the parameter p to find this particular point here. And to find it, because it's quite fine-tuned, I have to use the arrow key to get to the exact point. Let's just do that now. Okay, so that will be the point we know we've got to get a value of x of 32. And the height will be equal to 0 at that particular point. So so basic my this, the y value will give me the height. The x value will give me the distance travelled in the horizontal direction. These are the two parametric curves. The angle just gives me the direction that the uh, rocket is actually launched at the angle. Okay. Right, so going back to the problem. So A, we've got uh, x is 64t cos theta. So we're going to have to eliminate t and find the Cartesian equation. If I rearrange that, we get that t is x over 64 cos theta. And if we now substitute into y, so y was this. We've got, so y is 64t sine theta minus 64t squared. Then we get y is 64. Instead of t, I now put x over 64 cos theta. Sine theta minus 64 x over 64 cos theta squared. So carrying on, just writing that line out again so we can work with it. Okay, we can cancel out a 64 and a 64 here. So that gives me x sine theta over cos theta when we multiply this together. And then we're going to have uh, 64x squared. And then if we square this, we get x squared, 4096 cos squared theta. But it's going to cancel here eventually. And now we can start using a little bit of trigonometry. We know that tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. So we can replace this with tan theta. So we've got x tan theta the 64 and this will cancel for this was 64 squared so this becomes 64 so we've got x over 64 and then 1 over cos squared well sex theta is 1 over cos so this will become sex squared theta now there's a, a trig identity that relates because we have to do this in terms of tan so we know that 1 plus tan squared is equal to sex squared. So we're going to replace this sex squared here with 1 plus tan squared theta. And then we now, which is a quadratic in tan theta. So this is my sort of answer. I could expand it if I wanted to, but this is my answer to the part A. Right, now we need to find the time when it hits the... Um, when it hits the... Uh, ground again so we'll just go back and look at our applet here so, so basically we're for trying to find the uh, x coordinate of this particular point we can see from the graph it's 32 but we've got to use the um, some calculation to do that okay so 
When theta is equal to 45 degrees, we were told that that would be the angle of projection. Then the height, this is represented, but this represents the height. The height uh, will be zero, but we also know that cos theta is sine theta, and cos of 45 sine 45 is root 2 over 2. So we're going to have that x is 64 root 2 over 2, t. That's going to give me 32. And so my x uh, part of the equation will become 32 root 2 t. And then the y part will become 64 root 2 over 2 minus 64 t squared. This will cancel with this to give 32. So I'm going to get 32 root 2 t minus 64 t squared. Now to find where the rocket hits the ground, the height is equal to zero. So just quickly go back to look at this. The height here, we're going to get two values here and here, is going to be equal to zero when it hits the ground. So, so we've got 32, so we've put 32 root 2t minus 64t squared equal to zero. It's a common factor of t, so it can come out. So we've got t, 32 root 2 minus 64t is equal to zero. That gives uh, t is zero, which is where it started from. But we were more interested in this one. So this is going to be 32 root 2 minus 64t is equal to zero. So solving that, we get a 64t is equal to 32 root 2. And therefore, t will be root 2 over 2, because if you divide... divide uh, 32 divided by 64 you're going to get a half so it becomes root 2 over 2 so my t value so in order to actually find the horizontal distance then I need to f substitute it into x is equal to 32 root 2 t and that will give me 32 root 2 times root 2 over 2 because that's the value of t and all the root 2's will cancel out so root 2 times root 2 will give me 2 2 over 2 is uh, 1 but the answer will be 32 meters, like I've shown you here in the uh, diagram. Right, next we're going to try to calculate the greatest height. Now the greatest height will be at this particular point here. Don't, I'm trying to get that exact. I might have to use the arrow keys a minute. Let's just, okay, there we go. Okay, so that, this point is the maximum height. We know the answer, the maximum height is 8 and it happens when t is 16. Now as we know this is a quadratic we could actually just take half the distance here hit 16 and substitute it in uh, for x. However using just using the parameters so which would be a better way of doing it for this point of this question. So to find the greatest height the maximum height Okay, at the maximum height, uh, if we use y is equal to 32 root 2t minus 64t squared, then if we differentiate that, we're going to get 32 root 2 minus 128 times t. For maximum minimum, we need to uh, put dy by dx equal to 0, so we'll put that equal to 0. So we get 32 root 2 minus 128t is equal to 0. So 32 root 2 is equal to 128t. So t will be equal to root 2 over 4. 32 over 128 is 1 quarter, so it becomes root 2 over 4. If we now substitute into y, because we only need to find the height, so y originally was this, to find the actual height. So substituting that value in, we get 32 root 2, root 2 over 4. And you're going to use a calculator to make sure you use the fraction button minus 64 root 2 over 4 squared and if you work that out that gives you the 8 meters and if we go back to this we can see that the height here is 8 meters okay so this uh, geogebra I'll put in the notes of the video I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching